Welcome to my playhouse and this is an absolutely stupid video because uh, this is the display from the tape library that I did a video on uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. Um, but I got a lot of good suggestions on how to fix it and that's this is why it's stupid because I'm gonna try and fix it uh, just to get rid of the tape library. And when I say get rid of it, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna put it on the dump or just throw it out. It um, just means that I would want to give it to someone else to um, enjoy. It's just too small. Um, it has LTO2 drives in there and those are, well, six generations too old. Uh, well, they're six generations old, but they're probably not six generations too old. More or less, if you have anything LTO4 or newer than that, it's usable, but LTO2, 200 gigabytes of data per tape, not really. So um, the idea is more or less just to try and take this display apart. If you remember, it had weird lines and I was not able to read what was on the display. So uh, a lot of you guys suggested that I should just buy a new one. And these are available for about 50, 60, I think it was pounds from the UK. Uh, I could get a new unit just like this for 50 pounds, but it's, I'm getting rid of it. So um, just for fun and giggles, I'm gonna take it apart and we're gonna see if I can fix it. Um, okay, it looks like this. There is some electronics down here, buttons and probably some menus and stuff. And then there is the display unit up here and it looks like that uh, there's, a, there's a light here, I'm guessing. And then there is this, the display and it's kind of one unit. It has just these cables going into it. So I have to take this unit apart. Uh, there's a big chance that there are some Sabre stripes in there that I might be able to clean and that would help. So um, yeah, but first we need to take off the screws and uh, they have done a really nice system here when when you turn the screws, uh, it just turns around. I hate that. So um, yeah, I'm going to take that apart and we'll see what's inside. So I have a pair of pliers, that's going to be the other hand. Okay, boring video, I'll do that. Okay, so I do have the display loose now, but I found that it's connected through this connector and that connector, so if I take this board off and loosen those connectors, uh, it will be a whole lot easier to work with. So just two screws and then I'll be able to, to get the display by itself instead of messing with all of this. Oh. I guess it's four screws, not two screws. <sighs> that just doubled the amount of work. Yeah. And we have those two connectors, so we can take those out. Maybe, I hope. One, two. Good. So, oh, there is a lot of electronics on that. But it's held together with just these metal strips going through the PCB and keeping the display tight down into the board. And that is why I think we might be dealing with zebra stripes in here. Uh, so let's take that apart. We have a grounding connection here that is soldered on there. I think we need to remove that. It's, it's this one. So there it has solder on the connector. And that probably means that it's not going to be able to go down through the PCB. So I want to remove that. Otherwise, I think it will it will go off as soon as we try that. So yeah, don't know if could be any of these chips with a bad soldering, but I think I think there's a better chance of it being a bad zebra stripe in here. Someone linked me to um, EEV Blocks video where he did a, a similar thing on a Fluke multimeter, a really big and expensive one. So um, I'll watch that, and yeah, it did look kind of similar. So we are we're going for 
I'm trying to see if that's about the same thing here. Okay, so I removed that. It's right there. Just heated it up. Uh, so now we should be able to to unbend these. Uh, and you can kind of see the system. They have put them through and just bent them so that they're stuck on the board. Uh, so it's, I hope it's not going to be a big deal. I feel it getting looser, so it is working. It's a really, uh, it's a really nice system. Uh, there we are. Okay. Yeah, we have a very big zebra stripe right here. Oh, uh, and we have this, some of this. Oh, that connector is gonna suck. That's not gonna be easy to. The zebra stripe, we can, we can, we can clean that. But there's nothing on that side, but there is on this side. And then there's a flex cable here. And that's, um, yeah, we can, we can try and put some pressure on that both down there and up here and hope that that gets a bit but the zebra stripe here we can we can clean that so let's let's lift the display a little bit and get that out of there <laughs> one zebra stripe and we will clean that so i have some acetone here uh, apparently good for cleaning your shoes didn't know that but i put some in the lead here and i have one of these things for cleaning your ears so we're gonna we're gonna clean the zebra stripe with that and uh, not necessarily that the zebra stripe is sturdy but well i did actually do a video on my fluke multimeter also cleaning the zebra stripes on that because the display was getting very dim and that actually helped people i did a video and people are still thanking me that using that method just gave new life to their old fluke multimeter as well so i really love that uh, it was this multimeter that i did the video on and it still works great let's <laughs> hope that yeah it's uh, it's great before i did it you could barely read the numbers um so it's probably good for another five or six years and oh, i might have to do it again so uh, I did, did the zebra stripe, so now let's do these uh, connectors down on the board. Clean those. It's uh, actually gold connections down there. The PCB has been gold plated, so that's a really good thing. That should not be the problem. And then up against the glass as well. I'm not sure what kind of a material they put in the glass to make it conductive, but that's um, where the zebra stripes meets up with it. So just cleaning off any kind of grease and stuff. And more or less, I'm not sure that I'm cleaning anything. I'm probably just, it has probably just degraded a little bit and even just messing with it will, will improve the connection so let's put the zebra stripe back in try not to touch it uh, where the connections are at let's see if we can manage to get the good connection again it was on there really good so i'm hoping we can do that again it was as if it has slided down um might be the problem that uh, the display sitting in the box might have just slided down on the board uh, over years but it's as if these uh, connections in here they're a little bit too high up so it would have been nice if the if the display had been half a millimeter further up that way that might be why it's mm, maybe I am just estimating here it's I'm just pulling theories out of my um, yeah also these connections over there uh, we want to 
the, it's kind of taped on so I'm just gonna put some pressure on that so if there is a bad connection maybe we are lucky and that connection gets good again as I mentioned I saw EEV block do this and he was actually successful but he also said that he had to do this multiple times and he was he was heating this up and I don't know if this is heatable we can just try and see if this plastic smelts yeah it's it's not a good thing uh, the plastic melts otherwise I could heat up over here but I don't think that will help me much so he used a heat gun I think this is a different system than the one he was using yeah I think we're gonna go with that I'm gonna check this once again and then we're gonna put it back together okay so I have no idea but I put in a, a couple of pieces of electric tape at the bottom here to maybe help keep the display up and connect it to those uh, gold thingies there so we're gonna do that put this back in awesome and is it gonna it doesn't even feel oh it probably will when it will put pressure on it when I when I push it in to to get a good contact here so we're gonna do that they put a little piece of PCB where this is supposed to go and so you bend that it's very cool Let's come down here. There. if I just needed a little bit more pressure I could just press it down and put a piece of tape or something underneath these connectors uh, but as I don't know yet if this is even it let's not let's not start there so now we're good again I'll solder on that thinky and uh, we'll go test this okay I did an oopsie um, I spilled some some solder on this thing and that's a connector for, for one of the buttons um, so Ow, stop it. I need to, to try and get some of that off again. Hmm, looks good. Cool. So, let's put the connector back in. Don't think we need to put in all the screws to test this. This connector sucks. It's not easy to negotiate to get down there there pop that in let's give it one screw in the top put this connector back in there so moment of truth did that do anything um apparently the answer is absolutely not Maybe this thing is a tiny bit more clear. It was a total fail. Um, I'll put in the other screws and it's still just going out. Hmm. Okay, so this was a total waste of a video. But, well, someone suggested that I should try this, so I tried it. And, uh, well, you can't win them all. Uh, sometimes you do win some and then it's awesome sometimes you just waste half an hour and this was just half an hour and it is just going out uh, someone also suggested that I should uh, I should give this to Nordic computer the computer broker that I've been doing videos with and that's not a bad suggestion so I think I'll take a couple of pictures and ask Thomas if he wants to trade this with me for something else maybe something smaller something more manageable for me um, even getting this one out into the car and getting it up there would will be an issue but it, it was a great idea eh? and i get to uh, go up to nordic computer and uh, and see there and they are building up there they're actually expanding their their hardware heaven so i would like to go up there and talk to them about that so this is a golden opportunity maybe so might not be all bad. So that's 
might end up be more like trading it away, which is awesome. I will probably do that and we might get a really good video out of it. So um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.